Hi everyone, I'm back and I have um, a gessoed MDF board which I'm going to do some nice resin on. So I have a spiced ginger and these are the Resin Art Luster Pigments. I have Belize Blues, again Resin Art Luster Pigments. You can find them over at uh, www.colorart.com. Now, I have one. This is my own uh, my own bronze. This has a really beautiful luster, and I have used, of course, this is the one I just showed you, spiced ginger, and I've added a little bit of glitter just to get that little bit of extra. And you can use any kind of glitter you can find. These were really cheap. They came in a set with a lot of colors and they were only like $2. These are a little bit more expensive. And I made a batch of this. These are two, uh, two colors of glitter. And um, this one is the Belize Blue, which I did add a little bit of glitter just to make it a little bit nicer. Then I, here I have this is um, an opaque color. This is what um, acrylic paint does in, in, uh, in resin. It makes it really opaque. You can't see through that. But this is sort of, I'm going to use this as a sort of a layer and then add a little bit to it. So um, then I have, here I have a lot of base. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do, how I'm going to color this. I'm just not sure yet. I'm thinking of doing one of these for the whole base, but then I'm thinking, nah, let's not do that. I'm just not sure. Let me think about this. Eh, maybe I, I, it would be nice if I did a little bit of this. I'm going to add a little bit of that Titan buff. This is just a, a, fluid, uh, a fluid acrylic. As you can see, it really colors. You only need a couple of drops and never go above 10% in resin because that's not good. But as you can see, it just colors the whole cup. It was just a couple of drops, so that works out really fine. There you go, nice and smooth. We're gonna put that on there first. And as you can see, it gives a nice solid color. So that's what the acrylic uh, inks or, uh, res or uh, just acrylic paint does to your resin. Um, because there's not much of it in here, you can see that it does give a, a little bit of a transparent look to it. But that's okay, because we're going to cover it up with all these colors. Okay, I think we got it all. Now there's a lot of been going on about um, you know protecting the environment, and uh, I I really do uh, take care of that everything I use gets burned in one of those facilities. I've talked talked to you about that before, so don't worry about what I'm doing because I make sure it is taken care of the proper way. And, um, and anything that is left from um, when they burn this, they uh, make um, asphalt. They do put that on the roads over here, so that's cool. Nothing is wasted. I'm not really getting a nice... Let's see if I can do that with a piece of... Uh... Yeah, that works better. Because I, I would like full, full coverage before I put on the layers. I'm just pulling it. There you go. It's just so it has a little bit of a uh, surface to um, to spread the other colors. That's really all I'm trying to do. There you go. There's a little gap there. Because I don't really want to get too many things covered in resin before I do anything. Okay, I think we're ready. 
There you go. Then I'm gonna warm it up a bit. Now it's nice and smooth. Let me see where my cups are. There you go. Now I'm gonna come in with, oh, I'm gonna do the browns first. Here we go. So I'm gonna start up here and make it come down in a really nice little flowy motion. And we want that over the side a little bit. Then I'm gonna add my own bronze. Not exactly tight next to it because I wanna blow that all around. So that's that one. Then we want one down here. That's nice. Then I want a little bit of blue. Not too much though. I'm sort of jiggling the cup so that a little bit more or less will come out and it won't be such a tight little line. Want some more down here. There we go. And I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of this dark blue. That's number one. Oops, I'm dripping. Don't want the drips there. Gotta take care of that. Okay. I'm gonna take the drips off. That's number one. That's number two. Okay. Now, I think those are beautiful colors. You should see it really, eh, you're not really seeing it like I'm seeing it, but this is, um, this has a really beautiful patterns in it. And I'm sure once it's dry, it's gonna blow you away. That is really beautiful. Uh, I, of course, you're looking from straight down and I'm looking from a little bit of an angle. So, uh, because they're all mica things, you know, You'll uh, have a different view than I have, but I am going to, let's see, where's my bronze? Here's my bronze. I just want to do one more bronze down the middle. Because this one, uh, as you can see, it bleeds a little bit more yellow, and I really want it to have that bronzy look. Oop, I'm dripping again. And that is kind of cool too, just leaving it like that. That is beautiful. I really got to work on that little bit there. That's okay. Got to make sure that I don't drip on it anymore. Or if I do drip, that I drip in the middle. There you go. Yeah, now it's doing the same thing in the middle here. That is perfect because of, wow, that is beautiful. I love this. Okay, I think I have to add a little bit more because here it's doing the same thing and that is really, it's, I don't know how that happens, but it is pretty awesome. I'm gonna do this one too. 
maybe a little bit more here on the side because I'd like to have it just as thinly uh, spread like like it is here because that is really beautiful. And that little bit of tint of uh, yellow, it, it does make a difference, so that's pretty cool. That's it. Now, yep, got to keep my hands off it right now because that is, um, this is exactly how I think it's meant to be. Just got to do the sides a little bit. I think I might just do the sides golden or something like that. That that would be really beautiful. Now here where the uh, the yellowish went into the blue, uh, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should do just a little bit more of that because they are turning into some really awesome colors. It's like it's oxidized. I'm not sure if you can pick it up. Yeah, a little bit you can. You know that what I'm talking about, those really beautiful uh, things that are in there. But I really like that little bit of oxidized blue and blue and yellow in there because here it turns a little green and that's kind of uh, that's kind of really fun. Let's do a little bit more of that. And I'm dripping again. Stop dripping. Okay. Now I'm going to blow over it anyway. Now I'm going to put that yellow on top. And then just one more blue. Maybe back. Yeah, I've got to have a little bit more of that. I think that is really pretty. And the yellow again on top of it. And then one more. Okay, let's stop there. Now I've got a little bit more of the green here, a little bit more there. Up here it's turning a little greenish. There it is. So that balances it out. I think that's it. I'm going to stop right there. Although I would like a little bit more to get that white spot out. Let's see if we can do that. got a resin in my mouth. That's the only thing I don't like. I had a little bit of resin on that straw. <laughs> now it's all geeky. But this is, don't you just love this guys? I'm, I'm really in love with this. I'm going to do gold on the sides. That's going to really make it pop. I just love how this looks. It looks really like it's oxidized and there's all sorts of stuff going on, and now I really want to get into it with some Resi Blast and put all those things in it, but I'm not. No, 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 because this is really beautiful. I just wish you could see what I'm seeing. I don't want to do that. It'll spoil it. Okay, guys, this is it. I'm going to keep it just like this. There's enough little glitters in here, which you also can't see, but there's really, oh yeah, you can see a little bit of it. But this looks like some sort of oxidized thing. I'm going to keep this one, I guess. I'm in love with it. Okay, thanks all for watching. This was really fun. And um, I might just clean everything up and do some watercoloring. I think that would be really fun to do with you guys today. Or I'm, I also have bought some really expensive acrylic paper with linen structure. 
I was thinking of doing something on there too, so I'm not really sure. Um, well, you'll see. So have a really, really beautiful Sunday, all of you. Yes, I wish that to everyone. And I will see you back in the next video. Love you to pieces. Bye-bye.